students yesterday we started with chapter number 10 for history that is changing life too okay so before proceeding further for the evaluation part of the chapter we will first revise what we have done yesterday okay so when it comes to changing life too okay uh, in the previous chapter you can say in the last chapter we studied changing life one okay we studied changing life one in terms of changes in the institution of the family uh, social welfare uh, and from the point of view of public health urbanization rural development and in this chapter we look uh, we looked into the changes okay uh, in the field of language sports theater and films newspapers and television so when when it comes to language languages there are 22 major languages recognized by our indian constitution okay so there are official languages like hindi assamese bengali gujarati kannad kashmiri malayalam marathi odia punjabi sanskrit tamil telugu urdu konkani manipuri nepali and sindhi so these are the official languages of our country okay and these indian language students they have dialects dialects means they have in the form of language that is spoken in the particular part of our country but what is happening the number is now on decline okay so there are less number of people speaking this official languages in the particular region of the country so what is to be done there should be particular steps that has to be undertaken or you can say to you have to take care that uh, this um, indian official indian languages their decline should not be in a number and we should not lose their importance because they are a part of our heritage they are a part of our tradition they are a part of our history okay when it comes to language uh, hindi language okay it has um, reached every nook and corner you can say every corner of the world because of the medium of hindi movie especially okay the bollywood movies which serve the which uh, serves to unite the country by language so if many if you go to many states you will uh, understand that many people know hindi okay so the main credit goes to the movies hindi movies because many people around the country they watch hindi movies then we come to english languages english language now english language is uh, is more popular in our country okay it is basically due to the process of globalization the globalization which was the speed in the movement of different cultures organization uh, countries the exchange of goods commodities okay uh, which began after 1990 now english is the language uh, for livelihood means people if there is a fluency in english okay uh, or the pers- the people who know to read and write well or speak well it is a way for them to or it's a, it is like opening the door for their job opportunities many people get jobs due to this and indians especially they are on the leading position you can say in learning english however you can, it is necessary to make sure that this process should not put in danger the very existence which are of our regional languages okay so we instead of just giving importance to english language we should not lose the importance of other regional languages so that was about languages and then we also covered the aspect of sports now during the uh, you can say before independence okay there were only few games which were known to people but uh, some uh, sports person they completely changed the situation um and uh, they improved or they made better you can say the status of both the sports as well as the sports person so you for example uh, we had uh, uh, eat seti okay he achieved a global ex- excellence in snooker okay a game called snooker which is a variation of billiards he won the national championship of billiards for teenagers at age of 15 only he even won national and international championships as well and his success okay in the, uh, snooker okay it made the game so popular and the newspapers also they began to report the news about this billiards 
so there are other famous <coughs> billiard players as well like pankaj jadwani aditya mehta so they made a new field available to the rising sports person in our country then another example will for sports is for cricket okay our big, um, uh, we had a historic victory okay in 1983 in cricket uh, world cup cricket it was under the captainship of kapil dev as i gave you an example yesterday as well the recent movie 83 which is released it's based on the same theme so this uh, cricket instantly won popularity all over the country in the same year another cricketer sunil gavaskar okay he broke the record and he scored maximum centuries in the test cricket and in 18 uh, 1985 india also won the benson and hedges world championship of cricket now benson and hedges it's a one day international tournament it's held it was held from 17th feb to 10th march 1985 in australia and it was won by india so because of this achievements of this players cricket sports person cricketers cricket became um, cricket was very popular and it came to be played in all states of our, in all states of our country but at the cost of the originated indian games only even there are few mu- movies okay like ms dhoni lagan okay a movie on sachin tendulkar which are produced around the theme of cricket even the live telecast of full five days cricket match or you can say one day cricket match also made also became available then india also participated in the asia and the olympic games asian games which is a continental multi sport event which is held every four years among athletes from all over the asia even india have participated in olympics which is a leading international sport event featuring summer and winter sports competition in which thousands of athletes participate from around the world so there is an example of uh, year 2000 where in uh, karnam maleshwari she won a medal for weightlifting and she was the first indian woman to win a medal at olympics okay i there are few more as well like uh, sanya sanya neha neval she has um, grabbed the medal in Olymp- in badminton in olympics then for tennis it's lay and pace okay and then for uh, swimming it's uh, vidhal khad weightlifting we have karnam maleshwari and archer is deepika kumari okay so uh, india's representation you can say be- has began to rise in various olympic games when it include it includes hockey badminton tennis swimming weightlifting and archery then we covered the points uh, of theater and films okay so this is not something new uh, everybody is aware you all are uh, students you all are it's a part of our day to day life when it comes to theater and films so uh, before the uh, uh, be earlier the plays uh, the drama if they were they used to be very long okay for quite a long hours sometimes even the uh, it was entire night the drama or the play used to uh, happen but now the technique and the duration means the time period of the play has changed people from different walks of life means people from different uh, profession people from different uh, uh, level in the society they also take pl- part in this drama okay previously there was lot of singing and dancing okay but now it is not the same there is more of uh, political and social issues uh, the drama which is uh, drama which has been performed um previously they were uh, mythological like uh, dramas on mahabharata indian puranas ramayana then there were dramas on historical themes related to some freedom fighter uh, related to freedom struggle or some historical event but now this has changed even the duration of the play has become has become short and even the issues are different and now there are a lot of political issues related to educational system related to women related to child related to societal problem it may be related to pollution poverty then uh, in the uh, then previous earlier it was black and white movies okay and then the, there came a age of colored movies so in the field of entertainment the place of hindi movies is incomparable okay they now reflect modern themes the shooting of the films are even located at abroad countries so when we watch the movie so we can see the different foreign countries also 
even um, the movies which are in foreign languages okay they are translated and when there is a screening of this movie you can see a translation of hindi as a subtitle down and the hindi movies they compete with the worldwide movies as they have reached every corner of the world and in movies we see a reflection of topics related to politics social events industry and technology movies which were 3 to 4 hours are now three, earlier it was 3 to 4 hours the movie used to the duration of the movie used to be for 3 hours or 4 hours but now it is just one or maximum one and a half hours. The, when it comes to theater, earlier it was one screen, okay? One cinema hall and there was only one screen. Now we have multiplex, we have PVR, okay? We have movie theater complex with multiple screen with a single, in a single complex, there are multiple theater, um, multiple screen, Okay, so the there uh, earlier there were movie which was running for hundred weeks in one cinema hall, but now it is not this case. Now one movie runs in thousands of cinema halls in India and abroad simultaneously. Even there is an economy, there is a film industries. Okay, there are many people who are employed in this industry. Production of the movies, uh, it is basically attained the status of film industry. There are crores of people who are employed, it may be a sound technician, it may be a hair makeup artist, okay? it may be a film editor, okay? And the movie, um, other than Hindi movies, there are regional languages movie like South Indian film industries, which uh, like Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannad, Bengali, Marathi, they are also growing, they are also becoming famous. Then the aspect of newspaper, newspaper has again, um, uh, its effect, uh, the changing lifestyle has, has its effect on newspaper and other mass media which related to magazine, radio, TV, internet, and they have uh, influenced individual as well as the community. Now earlier during the early post-independence period, newspaper, they had a lot of multiple uh, aim, they had a lot of objectives, okay. Uh, they had uh, they were expected not only to give news of daily events but they had to encourage the uh, by printing advertisement of the industries of and commerce means uh, of particular goods and services the advertisement had to be printed they had uh, other objectives like shaping public opinion and directing that opinion towards useful work okay carrying on the task of educating the pe public education means educating the people to be a productive member of the society to keep a watch over the government machinery like what the government is working on the structure and the process of government even when it comes to like tv it was black and white now it is colored and there is a evolution of tv from a small one to a flat screen when and in newspaper also it's the same it was earlier black and white and with the changing time color printing has become common Earlier newspaper were thought to be the mouthpieces of taluka or district. Now they have to face tough, tough competition from the state level newspaper chain. But on the whole, newspaper are now becoming more active. The scope has the scope has enlarged to increase. Uh, even uh, in newspaper, if there is any kind of flood uh, affected uh, states or flood affected areas or drought affected areas, uh, they raise um, the print that particular uh, raising fund uh, uh, article in their paper in the newspaper even the students who are uh, meritorious means who are having merits and deserving for and they if they belong to lower income group okay if they as they are not uh, able to continue their education and they are deserving and if they want to go for higher education people help them uh, to the articles printed in newspapers there are organizing or sponsoring cultural programs as well. So this is how newspaper have become an inseparable part of our daily life. Then coming to television, which is TV again, it came during the post-independence period. Again in TV also students, it was uh, earlier it was um, black and white and now it is color TV. Earlier it was limited to some selected programs and fixed time slots. But later, as the year passed by, okay, the scope extended. The, there were many educational programs, 
uh, news bulletins, detailed reporting of tours of president and prime minister, which was shown on television. And when there was a telecast of Ramayana and Mahabharat, so many people, what they used to do, they used to just at that particular time when it was telecasted, they used to just sit and fixed on at the television set to watch this mythological serials. And this serials, they proved to be the popularity of this medium. Then in 1991, a news channel, which is CNN, they showed the entire world, okay, entire world, a live visual of a war, Iraq war, okay. And at this stage, the world of Indian news channel changed completely. And then in 1998, Star, which is satellite television, Asia region news channel, a private media house, they entered India and this, uh, the old, uh, the earlier uh, form of show, uh, telecasting the news, which was very boring, uninteresting, uh, propagandist, uh, which is basically spreading propaganda, okay, and supporting particular idea or group, changed, and it, uh, it uh, and the way of presenting and way of uh, giving news completely changed. There was a transformation. Even the language, the technique, and the presentation studios equipped with the latest technology and the use of OB, OB means outdoor broadcasting. Okay, vans have expanded the scope of Indian TV channels still further. Okay, this OB van is a small uh, mobile production control room. It's basically to allow filming of events and video production at location outside a regular television studio. So the scope, uh, all these things have, uh, ex uh, ha have expanded the scope of Indian TV channels still further, and it has brought clarity and variety. Now, every nook and corner, okay, every part of the country is connected. Okay, any event happening in any part of the nook and corner of the world could be seen on television. This has had a great impact on politics as well. So in short, you can see the whole country has started change. So this was what we have done uh, yesterday. So these were the uh, topics we have covered. So let's see a few points and the questions related to this part. What are the points students you need to remember uh, for this chapter that is changing life to chapter number 10. First here is official languages in India, which includes Hindi, Assamese, Bengali, Gujarati, Kannad, Kashmiri, Malayalam, Marathi, Odia, Punjabi, Sanskrit, Tamil, Telugu, Urdu, Konkani, Manipuri, Nepali, and Sindhi. Then you might get a question that the Indian who have achieved global excellence in snooker. Okay, so will you will write it the answer as Geet Sethi. Then India's historic win in World Cup cricket under Kapil Dev captains. So what you need to mention which is the year uh, for India's historic win in World Cup cricket, wherein uh, Kapil Dev was the captain. It is nine, it is in the year nine, it, it was in the year 1983. Then another point you need to remember is cricketer broke the record for maximum centuries in test cricket in 1983. So the name of the cricketer is Sunil Gavaskar. The winner of Benson and Hedges World Championship of Cricket in India in uh, 1985. So which country won? It is India, which is which won the Benson and Hedges World Championship in 1985. Then the first Indian women to win a Olympic medal. So the name is Karnam Maleshwari. It was for weightlifting in the year 2000. Then what are the objectives of the newspaper? Okay, you need to mention what are the objectives of the newspaper in the early, means when initially when we got independence for our country. So it was to give news of daily events. It was to give impetus, means encouragement to industry and commerce by printing advertisement to shape public opinion and direct it towards constructive work, carry on public education, keep a watch over government machinery. 
then next is what is the expanded scope of newspaper today that is like to raising to raise funds for the drought affected and the flood affected people even to help meritorious means deserving or the students with merits from lower income groups so that they could complete their higher education even organizing and sponsoring you can say organizing or sponsoring sponsoring means financing cultural programs which is related to particular society its ideas customs and art now pre independence period scope of television was uh, was uh, limited to selected programs only there were uh, fixed time slots of that programs after independence that is post independence scope of television was uh to uh, included educational programs like uh, you can say kon banega karodpati then bonveta quiz contest then news bulletins reporting of tours of president and prime minister further expansion of the scope of television today is the language and the technique of presentation then the studios equipped studios are equipped with latest technology even there is a use of ob uh, ob contour uh, broadcasting vans so here we have few dates and events which you need to remember again 1983 which is indian team won the world cup world cup for cricket under captainship of kapil dev again in 1985 india won benson and hedges world championship of cricket then in the year 2000 kannam maleshwari it won she won a medal for weight lifting at the olympics then in 1991 cnn channel they showed the entire world a live visual reporting of a iraq war then in 1998 star tv which is a private media house they entered india now the here we have the question number 1 a that is you have to choose the correct option and you have to rewrite the complete answers so students you have to you here you have to write the statement okay many times students don't write the full sentence you have to write full sentence with the answer and then you have to underline the answer as well okay so the first question here is india won the cricket world cup under the captainship of dash what are the options that is what give that are given here a it is sunil sunil gavaskar b kapil dev c sayed kirmani d sandeep patil okay so you will choose the correct option that is b kapil dev and you will write the full statement that is india won the cricket world cup under the captainship of kapil dev and you will underline the answer as well the next one is the dash language is gaining importance in india due to the process of globalization okay the options are a punjabi b french c english or d hindi okay so correct answer here is c english okay so you'll write the full statement that is the english language is gaining importance in india due to process of globalization and you will underline the answer that is english in the next one dash won the national championship of billiards for teenagers at the age of 15 the options are a melka singh b rafil nadin c geet sethi d prakash padukon so your correct answer is option c geet sethi then fourth one in dash star satellite that is satellite television asia region it's a private a private media house entered india so you need to mention it there which year whether it is in 1995 in 1996 1997 or 1998 the correct answer is 1998 so you will you will write the full sentence again here in 1998 star that is satellite television asia region a private media house entered india and you will underline the answer 1998 In 1991, Dash showed the to the entire world a live visual reporting of the Iraq War. So, it, which uh, which news channel was it? So, the options are A, CNN, B, CNBC, C, HBO, or D, NDTV. 
So the correct answer is CNN option A. Next, the Kohima radio station had to make its broadcast in dash languages, which included English, Hindi, and Naga dialects. So whether it is 28, 26, 24, or 25, the correct answer is 25. Now the next question is to identify the wrong pair and write the correct one. So here you can even just identify the wrong pair and you get one marks here, If you even though if you don't write the correct pair, students. The first one is the Karnam Maleshwari weight for lift, weightlifting, Sunil Gavaskar, a Indian cricketer, CNN, Iraq War, Star Television sponsoring cultural program. So here the incorrect pair or the wrong pair is Star Television that sponsoring cultural program. The correct answer is Star Television is private media house. This is just for information. Even though you write Star Television sponsoring cultural program, you will get a, you will get it correct and one mark there. Then Kapil Dev, 1983 World Cup, Geet Sethi, Benson and Hedges, Karnam Maleshwari, first women to win a medal at Olympics, Sunil Gavaskar, maximum centuries in the test cricket. So the incorrect pair is Geet Sethi, Benson and Hedges. The correct answer is Geet Sethi, he won the Billard competition. The third one, India won Cricket World Cup uh, 1983. Then Karnam Maleshwari won a medal at Olympics, that is year 2000. Live telecast of Iraq War 1991. Star TV entered India 1992. So the incorrect pair is Star TV entered India 1992. The correct pair is Star TV entered India 1992. The next is to do as directed, wherein you need to complete the concept chart. First one is you need to mention a few important languages in India. We have written here as Marathi, Hindi, and Gujarati. You can mention a few others as well. The next second one is players who have won medals at Olympics. Okay, so we'll mention few of them. Karnam Maleshwari, Abhinav Bindra, PV Sindhu, you can mention others as well, like Tanya Nevas, Leander Pace as well. Children movies that you have seen, it's Lion King, Minions, Finding Nemo, etc. Name the name of the channels telecasting various news bulletins. So there are DD Doordarshan News, CNN, ABP News. You can mention other news channels as well, students. It's like open-ended question. Next concept chart is to objectives of a newspaper. Here again, you have to draw this concept chart and, men and mention the answer with pen. Now, what are the objectives of a newspaper? Just to basically to shape public opinion, provide public education, provide direction for constructive work, keep a watch on government machinery, as well as lead the people then there's a question wherein to you have to explain the statements with reasons it's like give reasons again you have to mention the answers in points you don't write to ha uh, have to write in paragraph or essay uh, like an essay you have to mention the point relevant points in each answers the first one here is to cricket began to be played all over india to a greater or smaller extent. Now, so you need to mention what are the reasons for it. The, so you will write, cricket began to be played all over India to a greater or smaller extent because first one is in 1983, the Indian team won the World Cup for cricket under the championship of Kapil Dev. So it was a, a historic victory. Second point, cricket instantly won great popularity across the country. Then third point, in the same year, Sunil Gavaskar broke the earlier record of maximum centuries in test cricket. Fourth point, in 1985, India won the Benson and Hedges World Championship of cricket. As a result, cricket came to be played in all states to a lesser or greater extent, but at the cost of indigenous Indian. 
so these are the necessary point report the uh, relevant points you need to mention for the answers then the next one is the economy of the movies is changing okay so what are the reason for it so here it is the first point movies in foreign languages are now translated even during the screening of english movies a short hindi translation now appears on the screen as subtitled second point is hindi movies now compete with global movies as they have reached every nook and corner of the world we see a reflection of politics social events industry and technology in movies third point is movies which were 3 to 4 hours long are now only 1 and a, one or 1 and a half hours moreover the concept of one screen and one cinema hall has given way to multiplexes fourth point is the days of the movie running for 100 weeks in one cinema hall are over now one movie runs in thousands of cinema halls in india and abroad simultaneously then fifth point this development has changed the economy of movie production of movies has attained the status of industry the industry now employs crores of people and the movie industry in regional language is also thriving that means growing so that are the therefore the economy of the movies is changed so you need to mention all these reasons or all these points for this answer then hindi movies have reached every nook and corner of the world what are the reasons the points are the first point here is in the field of entertainment the place of hindi movies is incomparable now movies with reflect contemporary themes film shooting locals have moved abroad so viewers can now see many different places in foreign countries movies in foreign languages again are now translated next point during the screening of english movies a short hindi translation now appears on the screen as subtitles next point you mention is that swift point hindi movies now compete with global movies as they have reached every nook and corner of the world and then there is answer the following in brief or in detail why is it necessary to keep alive the dialects of indian languages so why it is necessary to keep it alive or to enhance the dialects or, or to stop the decline of the importance of indian languages so again it, uh, you have to mention the answer in points all the relevant points should be mentioned so here uh, the first point you can mention is hindi assamese bengali gujarati kannad kashmiri malayalam marathi odia punjabi sanskrit tamil telugu urdu konkani manipuri nepali and sindhi are the official languages in india these indian languages also have dialects but their number is now on the decline timely steps should be taken to nurture them otherwise we will lose an important part of our heritage nevertheless hindi has reached everywhere through the medium of hindi movies and has served to unite the country by language then uh, the next question the second one it is to elaborate uh, uh, upon the changing scope of newspapers again you will mention the answer in points starting the from Uh, during early post independence period the newspaper were expected to not only give the news of daily event but also give impetus to industry and commerce by printing advertisements earlier newspapers were black and white with the changing times color printing became common earlier newspaper were thought to be the mouthpiece of the taluka or district now they have to face tough competition from the state level newspaper chains but on the whole newspapers are now becoming more active their scope has enlarged to include raising funds for drought affected and flood affected people helping meritorious students from lower income group, group to go for higher education and organizing or sponsoring cultural programs so this is how you can say newspapers have become an inseparable part of our life so all these four points relevant points has to be mentioned for this answer then the third one is what changes have taken place in the medium of television 
So in terms of television, you need to mention the points, what changes have taken place. So to start from the first point, you need to mention that television came to India during the post-independence period. Earlier, it was black and white, and now it is color. Earlier, it was limited to selected programs and fixed time slots. Gradually, its scope was enlarged to include educational programs, news bulletins, detailed reporting of the tours of president and the prime minister. Then during the telecast of Ramayana, the mythological serials like Ramayana and Mahabharat, a majority of people, they used to sit glued at, to the television set. And these serials, they proved to be the popularity of this medium. Then in 1991, CNN channel, they showed to the entire world a live vision reporting of the Iraq war. Then after that, in 1998, STAR, that is Satellite Television Asia region, which is basically a private media house, they entered India. And this uh, way of uninteresting, uh, monotonous, like boring and propagandist means but, uh, particularly supporting a partic uh, particular group, uh, news telecast uh, of the earlier period, underwent a sea change. Means there was a complete uh, transformation, you can say. Then uh, the fifth point here is the language, the technique of presentation, uh, studios equipped with the latest technology. Then uh, the use of OB, that is outdoor broadcasting vans, have expanded the scope of Indian TV channels still further, and they have brought a transparency. Transparency means clarity and variety. So now every nook and corner of the country, okay, every nook and corner of the country is connected. Like every uh, corner you can say of the country is connected. Then in the, another is a open-ended question that you, do you think even uh, English has threatened, means put in danger, our indigenous language, means our regional languages, basically the languages that is spoken in an area that is a part of larger nation state. So you need to uh, mention your opinion in it or your view in it. So as you can write an answer as a point, again, you have to answer in points. Hindi, which, is, which has reached everywhere through the medium of Hindi movies, it has served to unite the country by language. However, English language has been gaining ground, means gaining, uh, English language is gaining ground, means it is becoming more popular in India, uh, especially due to the process of globalization, movement of people into, uh, of different culture, language, countries from across all over the globe all over the world, so, which began after 1990. Then third point is, English opens, I uh, means the language of English, it opens the door to multiple job opportunities. Moreover, Indians are at the forefront, means they are at a uh, leading position in learning English when it comes to Indians. However, it is necessary to ensure, but we, mean, we need to make sure that this process should not uh, endanger, and then put in danger the very existence of the regional languages, regional languages. The next question is, you have to mention the contribution, explain the contribution of Geet Sethi and Karnam Maleshwari in the field of sports. Okay, so what are they famous uh, as a sportsmen? What are the achievements? You need to mention that. So the first one is Geet Sethi. Now Geet Sethi achieved global excellence in snooker, which is a variation of billiards. Okay, it's a game students with a game played on billiard table um, with uh, you can say 15 red balls and six balls of other colors and a white ball. <coughs> Uh, it's a slight uh, difference of billiard snooker game. Now, Geet Sethi he won the national championship of billiards for teenagers at when he was at the age of 15. Then he went on to win national as well as international championship okay, of uh, billiards. At a global level, well, means at a worldwide level, he won the amateur billiards, which is a non-profession and unpaid 
elite competition thrice for three times and the professional one for five times and his success okay because of su his success in this game made it popular and even the newspaper they began to report the news about vilayats then karnam maleshwari as uh, we have a uh, understood earlier also she at olympics uh, in the year 2000 kanam maleshwari she won a medal for weightlifting and she was the first ever indian women to win a medal at the olympics then the question number 4 wherein you are given a passage okay and you have to answer the following questions so a uh, passage from your textbook only apart from your text book only would be given to you okay you need to read the passage okay so for that you if you read the textbook reading your textbook is very important okay you need to understand the content in your textbook okay so you need to read the passage and accordingly there are questions that is for four marks okay so you need to uh, uh, read the passage and accordingly write the answers for it now here they have uh, it is again from your textbook uh, the sports part uh, passage is uh, here and then the questions are given the first question is you have to prepare a uh, chart okay like a concept chart um or a, a flow chart or concept chart and listing the achievements of geet sethi okay so the main uh, theme is geet sethi achieve global excellence in snooker in one box and then you will follow the his achievements national championship of billiards for teenager which was at the age of 15 amateur billiards competition won thrice then professional billiards competition won five times so this chart you can make it by uh, this initial part of the first paragraph of your passage given only from that you can uh, understand and you can make the this chart prepare this chart and next question is which two indian uh, which two cricket tournaments mentioned in the passage records a victory for india okay so it's world cup 1983 as we already know and benson hedges 1985 these are the two tournaments you need to mention in full sentence you can't just write the you can you just can't write world cup 1983 and benson and hedges 1985 you need to write the answer in full sentence that world cup 1983 and benson and hedges 1985 are the two tournaments mentioned in the passage that recorded victory for india and the next question is who was the first indian women to win a medal at olympics which sport did she represent so again we know that that is karnam maleshwari she was the first indian woman so you will write karnam maleshwari was the first indian woman to win a medal for india at olympic she represent uh, she represented india in weight in women's weight lifting that also you need to mention then next is why do you think cricket has overshadowed other indigenous indian games now this is again open ended questions a uh, question which you can answer now cricket was introduced in india by the british in the post independence period this game mostly played by the elite in the times to come cricket gained glamour and popular popularity across the nation gradually giving a setback to other indigenous game means other um, games uh, in uh, uh, it, uh, compared to other indigenous originated games in india since cricketers they receive more professional coaching funding and more for infrastructural facility as compared to player of other games it became inevitable means insuperable that other games in india were overshadowed due to cricket so students we have uh, completed the whole chapter that is chapter number 10 of your um, uh, history okay so for the i hope you have understood this the what we have covered yesterday and today all the points
sir. Hello, teacher. 